Hey, what's happening, everybody? So I'm bringing back the Thursday Q&A starting right now. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know what this is, basically um, on Thursdays from now on indefinitely, um, whenever I can, I don't foresee why I won't be able to in the near future, um, you leave questions on a Q&A video, and the next Thursday I answer the questions from the previous week's Q&A video. So if you drop your questions about anything at all in the comment section below right now, I will answer them next week, but try to limit it to one question and try to make it as um, like clear and concise as possible. It's okay if you have to explain something, but just try to make an effort to keep it short if you possibly can. Thank you. Um, so Kevin is Jeep. You need to check out his channel. He dropped a cool comment on my last. These are all questions off my last Q&A video about three months ago. Uh, he, he left a cool comment, and I checked out your channel, and it is red. Uh, he lives in his Jeep and drives around and goes on adventures kind of like me and talks about living in a vehicle And it's uh, it's pretty cool. He's a cool guy, and he's got a cool setup. So check him out um, Next question is from our guest first question is from Koopa J and is what part can you buy to make your seat swivel? I bought mine off of I think it's called northernequipment.com. It might just be northern.com, but there should be a link I, I if there's not I need to put one in I don't know why I wouldn't but there should be a link in the video that I made about installing the swivel seat in my van. Sorry, dude, this tea gives me the perks. Been drinking tea all night. Uh, next question is from, I'm gonna say your name wrong and I'm sorry, maybe you can correct me on this. Elizaveta Vladovskaya? Is that close? That's a cool name. Um, what kind of program do you use for editing and do you plan your trips or just go with the flow? I use Adobe Premiere CC. I have the, um, it's a per month, It's I think it's 20 bucks a month and it's just that's what they use to make movies. Like, it's ridiculous what you can do with this thing. I have not even begun to scratch the surface with it, but it's cool. Um, and it's easy to use, and it's pretty intuitive. Uh, my laptop's a little slow for it, so it takes a while with this laptop, but I love it. I've used a couple other ones. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, garbage, garbage. And um, Adobe Premiere Elements, which is the very, very stripped-down, basic version of Premiere Pro. And um, it was a little limiting to me. I ran into some dead ends. That's why I'm paying for it now. Um, and do you plan your trips or just go with the flow? Historically, I've gone with the flow. I've kind of, I get like, I get set on something and I just like, I don't stop until I get there. And I've made the mistake of driving all the way across the country and not stopping to check out a lot of things. I mean, sometimes I haven't had the choice not to, but I'm kind of a, a mix between go with the flow and something gets me interested and excited and I just like drive as fast as I can to get there basically um, but now I'm learning how to mix planning things with uh, enjoying the surprises kind of thing because I really like I'm getting kind of obsessed with being able to make these videos like the best they can be and making my life the best it can be and I wonder how many places I've missed like how many incredible interesting places I've missed because I was so focused on getting somewhere or I had no no aim of where to go. So I'm going to mix those two from now on. And in fact, there's a place on my website now that I just put in where you can go and suggest places to go. So if you guys have interesting places, haunted places, abandoned places, uh, quirky roadside attractions, crazy zoos with animals with emus that have murder in their eyes, uh, anything interesting or with a cool story, go on my website and drop a comment on that page and let me know. I'd love to like just check out as many rad places as possible. And I think that takes research. I don't think you can just stumble upon these places. I think it ne needs research and other people's suggestions and help. So yeah, that's kind of scattered, but I hope that answered that. It is two o'clock in the morning right now, by the way, I'm a little bleh. Um, but I really want to make this video. KC Shellhammer. I want to say Spellhammer, but it's Shellhammer. Wow, that's cool. I've never heard that last name before. Uh, what do you do to stay cool in the summer? Fantastic fan, tinted windows, and stay in the shade and go somewhere where it's not too hot. Um, being in the south in summer, no way. I would never want to do that unless I had AC. Then it would be okay. But then you gotta go. Then you gotta be stuck inside all the time. That sounds terrible. Um, beautiful thing about having a van is I can drive anywhere I want. So either north or up. Yeah, higher in elevation. I guess up is the right word for that. Um, let's see here. Car Kitty 202. Hey man, I was wondering how you stay positive and put positivity into, uh, into other people's lives or how to be happy and make others happy. What others feel because of me is none of my business. Um, I don't, you can't, I don't know. 
I want to like make people feel happy and inspired and stuff, but if I if I try to and it doesn't work out, then I'm going to feel disappointed and it's really not I feel like it's kind of an intrusive thing to try to make somebody feel I don't know, it's a, it's a tricky 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 thing right there. I still haven't figured that out all the way, but I can't tell you how I stay happy and I'm not happy all the time. And I think part of the reason why I'm mostly happy is because I allow myself to feel angry and frustrated and sad and confused and overwhelmed and all these uncomfortable things that um are undesirable or whatever. I mean, in reality, those emotions have led me to like the my greatest like lessons in life, but I choose to, and I don't know if it's a re if it's real or not. There's no way to know for sure. I don't think anybody really knows what's going on here, <laughs> or whatever. This whole reality thing is kind of a absurd deal. But I think that um, I believe that everything that happens to me, and everything that happens in my life, and everybody who comes into my life is here to teach me something, to make me the best version of myself and closer to my truest self and the most compassionate. Um, truest version of myself, I guess. And in that way, when when bad things happen or whatever, I'm not a victim to anything. It's a, it's a gift and it's just up to me to figure out how to interpret the things that are happening in such a way that I become stronger for it. So whether or not it's true that some higher power or whatever, the universe or whatever mystical thing is happening, it's still every time anything happens to me, which is constantly happening, I'm constantly looking for a way to grow from it and to become a better person and more authentic from it. And in that way, there's not much room to feel sorry for yourself or to feel depressed or anything else. I mean, definitely I feel frustrated sometimes and angry and, you know, all those other things. But I think really, I think the bottom line is I choose to look at things and choose to look at how I can grow from things instead of feeling sorry for myself or feeling like, I got screwed over or I'm a victim or whatever, you know, and it hasn't always been that way. I had to hit like my own like complete rock bottom, losing everything, uh, borderline losing my mind kind of deal to uh, to figure that out. But once I did, it really changed everything. Uh, the mind really like dictates how we feel. So I figured out how to change all my beliefs and just kind of like one by one. And every time I get stuck in some kind of negative rut, it's just a belief that I have to change. So. I don't know if that made any sense to anybody else, but it does to me. And I am happy. On to, how do you find clean public restrooms? I usually don't. <laughs> They're usually disgusting. Uh, Jay Stone. But I, w I still, like, dude, I I'm living my dream. I'm, I'm out making, like, the best videos I can, which are about to get a lot better, because I've had this, like, I just, like, crossed this creative barrier into something else. I don't, I don't know how to explain it but anyway i'm living my dream dude like clean bathrooms are not so what people haven't had clean bathrooms until i don't know 50 years ago or something i don't know recently in human history i mean humans have gone without bathrooms for forever they just pee and poop and trees and whatever <laughs> you know i don't know i'm not worried about it is what i'm trying to say jay stone how many weird star bolts are in the back of an astro van uh those are like the torx bolts that look like stars i think it's only the seat belts I'm trying to remember. It's been a couple years since I've taken this thing apart, but I'm pretty sure it's just the seatbelts. Um, Eli Akoa, Akoa. I think it's Akoa. New to van living here. I wanted your input on insulating my floor. After having been on the road for a while now, what would you recommend? I recommend you go to cheaprvliving.com and get on the forums and ask other people because other people there know a lot more than I do. Um, I haven't come up with a perfect solution yet. I do know that. Um, carpet sucks because it, it traps in dirt and food and you end up with ants everywhere. That's how you get ants. And, um, denim insulation sucks because it holds moisture and mold grows, like, not in it, but around it. Kind of a weird thing there. But yeah, that's what I recommend. Um, car vampire, car campire, campire. Oh, that's interesting. Love the vids. Keep them up. Do you like stepping on crunchy leaves? Tis the season. I love that question because it takes me somewhere and it makes me like feel like, oh man, that was cool. You're you're a poet. I like this. Um, I do. I love crunchy leaves, man. Here in Oregon lately, it's been raining nonstop and it's so cold. There's no crunchy leaves. It's just like slimy leaves. Um, yes, I love crunchy leaves. That is a that is a wonderful feeling and sound.
And this thing needs some back shocks. Um, optim optimistic. Uh, two questions. I recently started reading A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle, and I'm about halfway through, already looking forward to my next read once I finish this one. So my question is, one, can you su su can you suggest another one of his books you think would be a good second read after this one? No, because that's the only one I've read. And two, can you suggest any other books to emphasize slowing down and taking in the moment? I'm still working on getting outside of my head and the actual slowing down part, but I'm really loving this new perspective and want to continue. I'm, this is three months ago. I don't know where you're at now, but this is interesting. I'm really loving this new perspective and I want to continue. It's the wanting that is keeping you from being because when you, when you just are and you just allow everything to be exactly as it is, that's the, that's the point where the book is telling you the pieces, right? So you're outside of that because you're you're up in here instead of out here. See what I'm saying? Um, I just thought that was that was interesting. The ego is a funny when you're trying to meditate and just be completely in the moment and just completely let go. The ego plays all kinds of tricks on you. It's really interesting. Your mind is a is it's like an entity that wants to stay alive or something, and it doesn't. I don't know. It's it's really hard to explain. And if you've never experienced it, I probably sound completely nuts because I know before. I experienced ego death or whatever. It was like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? You're nuts. <laughs> Back to the questions. Merlin Hodgelson. Hodgelson says, do you ever feel like the Astro Van is too small for you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I kind of live for the most part. I mean, there are times I definitely have to hang out in here. Like I'm hanging out in here right now, making this video. And when I edit for like five hours, it's like, or four hours, it depends on the video. This one will probably take an hour at the, well, it'll take like 10 minutes of actual work and an hour and a half of waiting for to render and export and stuff. Um, but there are ones like the, those last ones I've made have been like five, six hours of just like, it was fun. I loved it. But uh, yeah, it definitely feels too small sometimes. Eric Broder, are you in support of the recent cannabis, cannabis legalization push in Massachusetts and other states? I could rant about this for hours, like literally. Um, I don't smoke weed. I haven't smoked weed in a couple years now. I just I just don't enjoy it anymore. I don't need it. I don't want it. It gives me anxiety. It gets, started giving me panic attacks every time I smoke towards the end, and I just don't. I don't have any use for it. I love being sober. Uh, every once in a while, I have a little bit of whiskey, but not very often. Um... With that said, I absolutely support all drugs should be legal in my mind. I think drugs should be legal and the government should tax the hell out of them and use some of that tax money instead of for private prisons to like keep people who need help to help them, you know, and open up counseling centers or something, you know, to help these people. Because these people who get addicted to drugs have issues they need resolved. They're, they're stuck psychologically they're stuck and that's why they use the drugs like they need help man they don't need to be locked up in a cage and told they're bad they they already think they're bad that's why they're doing drugs like this it doesn't make any sense for drugs to be illegal at all at all none once you like think about it from this perspective like what the hell you know especially weed because it's got so many incredible like medical benefits that it, it could possibly have i know there's not well i don't think i don't know but it doesn't seem like there's any like concrete evidence that marijuana like cures all these different things or helps obviously it helps with all these different things but i do know that the scientific progress of research on it is being held back by the being a legal thing and um and it's people who smoke plants and grow plants that are from the earth are in prison what the hell is up with that I'm going to stop there because, I, like I said, I could keep going for hours about this. I'm really passionate about it. Uh, Reese Schmidt, hey, Jed, have you ever thought that you actually live in a space that is just over 50 square feet? The average house is just over 1,000 square feet, so that is insane. I don't live in this space. I live out of this space. I live in the earth. I live in the world, man. Outer space. Um, yeah, it is, it is pretty crazy, though, when you think about it. I actually like it, man. The room that I'm staying in is pretty small, but it feels huge. And it's like, oh, God, man, let me back in my cave. Because it feels like, I don't know, when I'm in this thing, it feels like I'm in, like, a, a safe place or something. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's like a snake. You know, they like hiding in tight little spots. I like tight little spots, too. Uh, Urban, I, ooh, I better hurry up. 
Urbanite73 says, I don't remember if you ever did or if... Oh, whoa, 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 let me start over. I don't remember if you did or not on your first build. Did you have rear heat and AC in your van? If so, did you remove it? No, I did not. And if I if I did have it, I would remove it because it takes up a lot of space and it's more stuff that can go wrong. It's a small van. Why does it even need that? You know, like you can get heat from the front. You can get AC from the front. Like people are, I don't know. I don't know why they did that. Zach Pacer, you are the effing man. Fuck out, dude. I like it. Um, how did you think the? What do you think is the difference between personality and ego? I think ego is the thing that's trying to figure out personality, and personality is the person you just are without ego's interpretation of that. Good luck making sense out of that. Nomadic mystery. Regardless of initial investment, would you stay in a van or would you move to a travel trailer or class C or A? I would go for a class. Uh, class B isn't on there. Um. <laughs> If Class B was there, I would, man, if I had, like, if I had enough, if my channel was set up as a corporation and I was making enough money to make payments on something, I would totally get a new, not a brand new, but, like, a like-new used Class B RV and use it as a write-off and make payments for a few years and then trade it in for another one and just keep doing that with a Class B, like, on a, like that John Travolta one I, I checked out the other day in that video, or Travolta... Traviolta, whatever the hell it's called. Um, that one was sweet, dude. I would love to have something like that. And it would make my life easier because I don't have to seek out showers. I don't have to seek out bathrooms. And everything's just right there. And uh, I think it would just make my life easier. And it would be um, it would be really nice to be in something like that. Yeah. So if I had the money, hell yeah, I'd be in a nice Class B. Probably not a Class C unless it was a really, really small one like Class B size. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, how much time I got left? Two minutes. I can shamelessly promote myself now. Um, I have mugs. Mm, that's a really good tea. I have mugs now. They're going to be on my website soon. I don't think they are yet. They're $20 plus $5 shipping. They're better than the last ones. A lot better. And I have shirts. Look at this. White shirts. Um, I only have white. I have them in all sizes. Um, the new shirts are a million times better than the old ones. The printing on the old ones sucked. If you bought a shirt from me before, I lost all your emails, so I should probably do the t-shirt thing or announce this at the beginning of another video. Anyway, just to make sure everybody sees it. But if you bought a shirt from me before and you're not happy with the quality, email me through the contact thing tab on my website. Excuse me, dude, this tea makes me burp for some reason. And I will send you a new one for free. Um, if you'd like to buy one, they're $20 plus $5 shipping, and thanks for watching, guys. Love yourself.